And you are welcome back. It's time for our final chat here with our final guest. And boy, what a sight to see. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> really? In the studio here, we have Nkem Mba Malu with us, an actress, makeup artist. Also, she's a professional at many things. Mm. She's a baby girl and so many other things. Yes, Like so. you put it from before. <laughs> you are welcome, Nkem. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. That's fantastic. All right. So there's always... Um, there's always a backstory to how things uh, come come to the fore. You know, you mentioned uh, before we came that you have something on Tubi TV. Please tell us all about that. Yes, um, my latest project is Prim and Proper. Okay, it's on Tubi TV, like you said. Um, it's a show that basically highlights mm. experiences mm. of Africans in the diaspora. Okay, um, be it basic, uh, just the struggles. Mm. Um, racism, basically like it touches on a number of topics. Okay. Um, you know, right now we're in the era of Japa. Mm -hmm. Everyone is trying to Japa. Yeah. So, you know, the, the show kind of just shows you a lot more about what it is like living in the United States. Hmm. And we're really excited about the show right now. All right. Well, that's fantastic. You came at entertainment from a different angle. You want to do the whole reality thing, which is, for me, I think most people want to. There's a certain nature of man. Mm -hmm. We want to know what people are up to. We're like, you know, rumor has it, oh, how did they get there? That kind of thing. Was that an intentional approach to um, uh, viewership or entertainment that you took? Was it intentional is my question. You mean you're asking me reality television? Reality television. Yes. <laughs> well, this reality television is a bit different. Okay. It's not like your usual reality television. Hmm. It is unscripted. Okay. It is basically highlighting real experiences of Africans living abroad. So, hmm. and right now I feel like African content is relevant. Hmm. I mean, from Afrobeats, hmm. you know, going global to even just African shows. A lot of people internationally and you know here in, in Nigeria are. Um, streaming the yeah. shows so right. for me what it was just basically like a, a lifetime opportunity to mm. be a part of this to tell our stories I speaking feel like of telling your story you need to tell us your backstory uh, in in this particular industry when okay. did this all start for you um <laughs> started way longer if i were okay. to say i would say maybe like high school okay well, secondary school mm -hmm. <laughs> i would say started from there just being in theater performance um but Taking this a little bit more seriously, I would say sometime, let's say within the last five years, okay. I would say now I can call myself a full-time working actor mm. versus, you know, like in the past, it would be just here and there, okay. you know, um, while working my, my regular nine to five. So, All right. um, yeah, I'm just, it's something that I'm really passionate about. Acting is, I'm very passionate. Do you about have it. international experience acting as well, or is it just here in Nollywood in international. Nigeria? International. Yes. And if I was to ask you what the difference is in, you know, whether it's the concept or the people or the culture of being outside the country or being an actor inside of Nigeria, yeah. what's, what are the differences? Are there any challenges, would you say? Oh, I would say yes. Ooh, um, <laughs> here, of course, the Nepal issue, oh, electricity, yes. <laughs> that's the most obvious. Okay. Um, um, I think we're really doing well in the industry here, so I don't want to go too much into that, but I would just say like electricity, mm. um, just having your shed, like, like basically a, a schedule of just everything that you're supposed what to do ahead of time. What are actors and actresses like to work yeah. with here in Nigeria, for instance? Um, would you say we're difficult in any way? No, I wouldn't say difficult. You're not just I saying just that, think it's just, No, I'm, just, I'm not just <laughs> saying that. I would just think it's just cultural differences. Okay. Um, if you're working with, let's say, you know, whites or black Americans mm -hmm. or basically other ethnic groups abroad versus working with your own people. Mm -hmm. I actually think working here, it's, it's people that look like you, that sound okay. like you, yeah. you know? So I, I like it. So it's more relaxed. Yes. Mm -hmm. But in your opinion, what would you consider as your big break? What, what was it that made you know that, okay, this what is role? what I want to do? Yes. I would say, um, Yankee Hustle. It's okay. on Amazon Prime. Okay. I would say that that would be the one. And then right now, Prim and Proper. Okay. I would say it's, 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 it's given some other projects I've worked for a run for its money. Mm. So. so this international exposure on mm -hmm. international platforms is very different from just having home video, home mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about fans all over the world. What sort of responses and reactions have you received? Um, <laughs> well... 
I wouldn't say I'm that big where yeah. it's like, uh, you know, I have like loads of fans. But it's just nice sometimes when people recognize your work or recognize you and just basically just give you an accolade. So mm. it make, means that you're doing something well. It means that, you know, you're onto something and mm -hmm. you're not, you just don't have this dream just just to have the dream, you know, and yeah. so say, oh, that character, oh my God, I could relate to, I could see myself okay. in it, just like this show, you know, prim and proper. Um, a, a lot of people, that watch, if you watch the show, yeah. you will see yourself in some of the characters. Okay. And so that's why it's, 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 it's a project dear to my heart. Ooh, 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 okay. mm -hmm. I got a question now. You just refer to them as characters. And uh -huh. I have this thing about reality television. Okay. Mm -hmm. I believe that reality television shouldn't be about characters. Now, that's just me. Mm -hmm. All right. I also think that there are two different things. You've got reality television and then you've got real instance TV. Mm -hmm. Real instance TV, perhaps the Kardashians. Okay, so today you guys are going to get into an argument how you get there, your business. <laughs> Yeah. Reality TV, man, big brother, anything happens, happens. Just put them mm -hmm. in a blender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. So I contest when a person says reality TV. So okay. in your instance, which is it? Reality TV or real instance TV? I would say reality TV. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, of course, people always say, okay, how un is it really unscripted? Mm -hmm. um, I would say that maybe sometimes there are guide like guidelines mm -hmm. like for example it could be a scene and just you know the producers may encourage you a little bit so okay you know you just came from doing your hair can you guys have a con conversation about okay. that so there there are some guides mm -hmm. but for the most part it is reality like mm -hmm. what's happening your day-to-day -day and, and basically mm -hmm. the day-to-day -day struggles of africans in the diaspora right. so we just leave our experiences on tv okay so now um there are a lot of people who actually want to jack back Mm -hmm. um, do you think, do you feel, so there's something, I, the, 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 the arc, the arc is either reinforcing something mm -hmm. or turning, changing people's minds about something. Mm -hmm. I feel like a show is either, is, is not successful until it's done one of either things. Okay. What do you think this is going to do? Is it going to convince people to travel or is it going to co convince people to come back home? I think it's going to convince people to travel. Mm. However, just don't think it's a bed of roses or you're just, you know, you just get into the United States and you're, you're plucking money in trees. Okay. So okay. it just shows reality. Okay. You may be in the United States for two, three years before you get your big break. It mm. may be seven years. Mm. So just showing the, the, you know, the variance in, you know, the basic people's experiences. Yeah. So it's just basically just show, highlighting that aspect of it. So don't think that, oh, you've made it just because you're jet mm. You have to still work hard. And I believe that Nigerians, we're hard workers. Yeah. Like we are, there's nothing we can't do, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I, I feel like that, just also seeing how hard working we are, how there's no, there's no mountain too high for us to climb. It's going to also show that and how, you know, how we're successful and, yeah. you know, and just, it's good paving our own way, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like that's what it's going to do. All right, all right. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. How, How, okay, you have one? No, I was, I was going to say, being a big part of this now, compared to just being an actor, mm -hmm. Uh, that progression, how has it been for you? What, what's the highlight of it? So I would think that this is a little bit different because it's your real life. Yeah. Mm. So you're susceptible to wow. scrutiny exactly. more, you know, so versus acting is just I'm playing a character yeah okay you know so if you hate my character oh well it's not me it's not in Kim yeah. you know versus reality is in Kim so the day in Kim has a bad day and it shows on reality is like oh what will people say okay. you know but okay. but I mean you have to leave out your reality mm. you know and hope but for the best can you categorically say that there are some scenes where it is actually the day in the life of um Kim mm -hmm. surely just the day in life yes of Kim. yes mm. all right yes Okay. Aren't you worried though? Aren't you ever really, you know, just anxious about the response or the reaction of, of fans? Oh, of course you do worry. You're human, right? I'm, I'm human. I do worry. Um, but at the end of the day, if my story inspires one person, that's all that matters, you know? Um, just, I, I believe that uh, we're put on earth basically to influence, to impact positively. Mm. But we're human, okay. and you will see the humanness, you know, okay. in in my experience or in the okay. other person's so, experience. So, if I put a movie out there, I know how I'm going to make my money back. <laughs> it's going to be on streaming service, and I'm going to get clicks, and I'm going to get my money back. But for mm -hmm. reality television, let's talk about that money, getting back your money. How do you get back your money when you invest in reality TV or the individuals or characters <laughs> quote, who are part of this kind of uh, entertainment? 
Well, everything in life is a risk. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Even movies, it's a risk sometimes. You, that's why you see some movies do well in box office and others don't. Mm. Um, I think it's the same thing with reality television. I feel like if you're just authentic, okay. authentic always resonates mm. with people. So as long as you're, you know, for our show, we're trying to be as authentic as we can, mm. unfiltered, raw as possible. And I feel like it, it will resonate and it would eventually translate. Mm -hmm. Towards, towards sales yeah, and it meant to that. Would you yeah. support. distributed support? Because yeah. I've always thought that reality TV is we're going to give you a platform, mm -hmm. and depending on what you do with it, mm -hmm. is your business. Yeah. When you come out, shall I use the platform? Mm -hmm. And how famous. Mm -hmm. Does that apply in this instance? I think that, that question would be better suited for my producer. Okay. Um, however, <laughs> <laughs> where it comes to the busy, the nitty gritty, um, uh, but. I, I, I do believe that the, the show will resonate with its viewers. Okay. We just you know, launched it, I think it was like two weeks ago or so, okay. and we're getting good responses so far. So right. we're pretty Fantastic. positive. Can't wait, can't wait. Cam Mbamalu, thank you so Mbamalu. much. Mbamalu. Did I get it right? Yeah, both of you. Both of you. <laughs> now, uh, the chef and I, Chef NC Splash and I have been working yeah. really, really hard. You know, nice. I've been getting my hands dirty. No, I haven't. Not dirty. Uh, <laughs> but the, the, the chef has worked on something. We want you to taste it. Will you oh, enjoy Oh, nice. All right. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs>